Let's finish this section with an explanation of differentials. Why are they helpful and how do they affect handling? Differentials help traction in both straight line and turning situations, but if tuned incorrectly, they can also hurt traction in both cases. To understand differentials, we first need to consider how the drive wheels are moving relative to each other. While driving around corners, the outside wheel travels further than the inside wheel. If the outside wheel is travelling further in the same amount of time, then it must travel faster than the inside wheel. A differential allows this speed difference, which is vital to maintaining traction in the turn. If both wheels were driven at the same rate, then the outside wheel would be dragging or skidding. You'll have a differential for each set of drive wheels, so one in the front for front wheel drive, or one in the rear for rear wheel drive. All wheel drive cars have both, plus a centre differential that controls front to rear torque split. The problem with a completely open differential is that it tends to send power to whichever wheel has less grip. What does this mean exactly? The open diff allows maximum traction when the car is turning at a constant speed, but it can actually lose acceleration when turning. Let's look at why. In a turn our weight is transferred to the outside tyres which means the inside tyre will have less grip. And remember, with an open diff the easiest wheel or wheel with less resistance gets the torque. If we apply too much power the inside tyre will tend to spin since it has less grip. Once that happens it's like all of our acceleration is leaking out of that wheel. It saps any acceleration we had through and out of the turn. That's why you'll upgrade to limited slip differentials or LSDs, which allow us to limit that difference in wheel speed. We get some give to prevent dragging the outside wheel, but still keep our ability to accelerate harder out of a turn. Tuning differentials is an area often misunderstood, and I used to struggle in this area too, but it's actually very easy to understand if we remember these two points. Higher differential settings mean more locking of the inside and outside wheels, and lower differential settings means less lock or more freedom to rotate at different speeds. We want to tune differentials for two situations, acceleration and deceleration. When tuning the acceleration setting, the effects are only present when the throttle is being applied. When set to 0% for acceleration, the differential is open and therefore has no lock. When you think of 0, you can think O for open. As we mentioned, you will have less acceleration through and out of the corner, but control is better. This is because a more open diff is less likely to lead to power oversteer or both tyres spinning as you accelerate out of the turn. With the acceleration set to 100%, the differential is locked, forcing inside and outside wheels to rotate at exactly the same speed. Oversteer will be inevitable, particularly in high-powered cars. Gentle throttle control is essential to tame the power oversteer. The trick is to find a balance. Start with 50-70% to 70 and then adjust as needed. For a rear-wheel drive car, high acceleration settings increase oversteer, and low acceleration settings reduce oversteer. The less traction you have available, the lower you need the setting. When tuning the deceleration setting, the effects are only present while off the throttle. With the deceleration set to zero, the differential is fully open or has zero lock while slowing down. This allows the wheels to rotate independently, getting the car around the corner earlier for sooner throttle application. A setting of 0% will cause one wheel to lock during abrupt downshifting and result in instability. With the deceleration set to 100%, it's the same as before, the differential is 100% locked, forcing inside and outside wheels to rotate at exactly the same speed. As you lift off the throttle, both wheels grip the track equally and the car refuses to rotate. A setting of 100% will cause both wheels to lock during abrupt downshifting, 
creating a similar effect to applying the handbrake. Again you need to find a balance. Start with a lower setting, say 10-20% to and then adjust from there. For a rear wheel drive car, high deceleration setting increases understeer and low deceleration setting reduces understeer. Congratulations, you have completed the section on enhancing grip. I hope you have a good idea of how to use other parts of the car like aero, brakes and differential to get even more grip where you need it. In the final video we summarise what you have learned in this course and point you towards more places you can learn to help you get that racing advantage.